Nardar here with a new CSGO Pro Tricks video, but first I want to thank you all for your support. I reached 20k subscribers on YouTube. Much love to all the viewers and fans that support me. For my Christmas gift, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a comment and like the video. Without further ado, let's get into it. I show here that Zaiwu and Apex boosting on the wires back on stage to peak heaven and Tetris. Shiro Molly's catwalk from behind this wall CT, aims as shown, then jump throw. Grim has the best B-spawn and he rushes to wood where he throws his cool jump B-main molly. I think I've also seen some pros use this jump throw to throw an HE nade. Liquid smoke bottom ramp and Nico has a line to molly top yellow towards the back beam on stage. He stands next to the box towards the front, aims as shown, then without moving his mouse, he strafes over to his left, then runs forward and left click throw. CTs commonly will push Ivy through the T smoke to behind this beam at the start of the round, and this molly will take care of it. Jax throws flashes out the map towards B from T spawn, aiming at the garbage container, run and jump throw. The flash blinds Grim, helping his teammates take stairs control. Here's Grim's POV. The first flash gets him, he falls back after mollying, and then he re peeks and gets flashed again, and he falls back afterwards. CTs commonly jiggle peek, ramp from behind crane, then smoke it off when contact or an execute happens. Gambit will boost crane to peek over that smoke, and they get a kill into Alex. Zaiwu throws a ramp one way smoke, he is behind sandbags to the right, aims here, then left click throw. Afterwards, he pushes up and gets on top of the sandbags, where he has a one way smoke for ramp. He kills Naphne and continues to hold for a couple seconds and falls off. Naphne doesn't realize it's a one way smoke until he got shot at, however it's too late and he gets killed. Shiro throws a perfect top ramp flash, crouch behind this box, aims below this beam, then left click throw. Unfortunately we don't get to see him play here as VP have no one top ramp. Grasshog has his off angle window position back right where he can spot the T's push bid through this gap if the T's aren't hugged up close, which he spots ahead of Krad and gets an early jump onto him, and he kills him however he gets traded. Here's Krad's POV, he doesn't even bother checking the position Grasshog is in. Inters will use a similar position, however he uses more as an off angle and doesn't really spot the gap. And as you can see, Stewie comes up close and he walks up to window. Inters will get the early jump with the stew, but Stu gets a better exchange. Grasshog Molotov's ramp sandbags by staying on top of the coil short, aims as shown, then left click throw. Aggo uses this molly to deal with the pesky headshot sandbag ramp angle as they push and retake ramp. Exertion smokes ramp at the start of round, but the nade I want to show you is this molly for mid yellow. He stands next to this wall, aims here, then left click throw. This molly will delay any T's wanting to push up yellow fast or punish them for pushing through. Here's another way of throwing that mid yellow scaffold molly. Get behind default, aim at this wall, then left click throw. Here you see the molly holds Fang in place as he wanted to initially push up scaffold. JT smokes bottom yellow from elevator. He stands in front of the number zero, aims here at the window, then left click throw. This smoke helps deny the T scaffold control and leaves the one way to where Fang pushes up to check ramp. Refresh smokes mid yellow at the start of the round aiming next to this crane and the thing sticking out on the bottom then W and left click throw. This smoke allows Tessis to come out top yellow and peeks the gap to spot ramp however doesn't see anyone then full swings to the right with a flash and kills Shiro over the smoke. Later into the round he throws a one way smoke from Ivy, aims at the floor then left click throw. He peeks over the smoke and can see bottom ramp where he kills Hobbit then swings to the right to spot ramp and then onto stage where he kills Naphne. It's very hard as a terrorist to spot someone peeking through the yellow scaffold if you don't have an op. And then we see from Hobbit's POV that he is unable to see Tessus through that one way smoke. Kicker behind sandbags flashes yellow for your kinder to peek. While standing in the back, he aims at the bottom right circle, then left click throw. The flash blinds Apex, assisting the kill for Yakinder. Shox ends up in a 1v1 clutch situation versus Yakinder, and as you recall in Inferno in the previous clutch versus Navi, he uses a nade to make smoke to peek behind it, which he does the same here, throwing the nade to hide his peek, then kills Yakinder. This doesn't have the full effect compared to the Inferno nade he threw, but nonetheless, nice concept and play from Shox. Alien gets run boosted off default on A to try to get to ramp faster to go for a pick ramp. However, MHL had already beaten him there and crossed to the right. However, Elian still manages to get the pick onto Grasshog. We'll still give some style points to Elian and Entropic for that run boost. Exertion and JDC are double up close mid. I haven't seen this stack setup yet, 
The more common one is to the left where they stack on top and below each other on the board. Unfortunately for them, Daffy gets one kill before he gets traded. Here's what Daffy sees as he comes around the corner. And Tropic have a bait and switch setup after taking ramp control with Forcer jump spotting Krad close bottom yellow. Forcer makes contact and centers trade Krad out. Forcer underhands a smoke near his back wall and then gets on stage and peaks ramp where he has a one way smoke and kills all three center players with a flash assist from Elian. This one way smoke is very commonly used nowadays in the pro scene and Gambit one of the teams that abuses it. Borup spams default with an AK and he stops a plant killing Shiro winning heroic the round with no time left. You have to spam between these two boxes in the middle. I did not know you can spam these containers without having an op or scout. Refresh has these deep flashes he throws off Crane, staying on the yellow square, aims as shown, then run throw. Borup rushes down yellow and these flashes blind Napani, who is holding from the right which is why these flashes are so good for the push. Most of the ramp flashes won't cover this position that Nafni is in. Borup throws this molly that lands on the mid coils that goes through the mid wall as well as through the floor to B main. You've probably seen this before, I've also covered it in the past. Unfortunately for Heroic this molly was prohibited in Blast Tournament. What do you think about this molly? Should it be banned? Let me know in the comments. I love the molly as well Kadian. Refresh smokes left A site from stairs, he breaks the windows, positions left of this pillar, then gets on the rails while standing, aims at this part of the building, then left click throw. Heroic will use this smoke to rush A. Buster's VP's default B stairs player is prodding B and makes contact. He's really smart to fall back afterwards because CTs often have a setup with a player default flashing for a player with the peak stairs. Buster waits to see if this happens and he doesn't hear anything. He pushes back into the stairs and spams this part of the wood and kills Shocks. Then he attempts to molly back white and double, however it gets body blocked. I'll show you the lineup afterwards. Then he hears a flash which didn't go far enough so he spams the same position and kills another player, Masuta. But then he gets killed from Kyojin's one way smoke. Here is Buster's Molotov. Get in this back corner, aim top right of the spikes, then walk until you hit the bottom of the spikes coming out the beam and left and right click throw. The molly as you can see covers back white and double. Kyoshin peeking behind double has this defensive one way smoke. After Buster kills Shax, he throws it, which he aims off this part of white and left click throw. He jumps onto the sandbags to get the one way where he can see part of stairs and blow it. He manages to body block Buster's Molotov and later into the round kills him with this one way. Shiro throws a one way smoke Ivy from Tetris. He crouches, aims at this part of the container, stands up, and jump throw. Nafani pushes through the smoke to get into this corner where he has a gap to work with to spot ramp. However, he won't get any kills here because the leash and yellow spams the smoke, causing Nafani to fall back. The leash can't spot Nafani through the smoke, but he knows that someone might be behind it because he knows of the smoke. Yabby smokes behind generator on B site from default. He is positioned towards the left container, aims as shown, then left click throw. He follows it up with a window molly, and the smoke that he threw blocks off vision from Oscar, who was CT. Before we go on, I want to give a quick little shout out to my second YouTube channel, Nades Out Here, featuring over 1,000 videos that show you tricks, nades, and tactics from the pro scene. Make sure to check it out and subscribe. A leash behind default on A site smokes porch by aiming in the top middle of this window, then left click throw. He will then push up lane and jump onto the wood pallet where the smoke acts as a one way, however he misses his shots then falls back. You can spot Elish's head sticking out here, but by the time Elish throws it and he gets to the wooden plank, the Teeks might not check the porch boost which will allow you to catch someone from behind. Vitaly throw the mid smoke from spawn and Zaivu with the mid spawn and an op pushes through the smoke with a flash towards second mid. He's going to peak mid and leg Plopsky, then goes to second mid and kills Asetag, goes back to mid and kills Plopsky, and then he tries falling back afterwards and gets killed. When Zaiwu is doing this to you, you have no chance. Elish throws a one way smoke mid at the start of the round, he will aim at this shadow, then left click throw. He will push to the right of the smoke and kills Hampus however he gets traded. Hampus is spraying the smoke because sometimes teams like the nade stack stairs from behind the smoke, Elish will come through and kill him. 
Enters at the start of the round, throws a mid one-way smoke from CT spawn. He stands in front of the bench, aims at the bottom of the light brick, then jump throw. Axile with the best mid spawn pushes through the smoke to the right, where he has a one-way smoke. No one comes out mid from Team Liquid and the smoke fades. Axile looks towards second mid as it does and kills Stewie who was not expecting him to be there and Elyse as well, before falling back. What makes this smoke unique is that it does look like your standard mid smoke thrown from CT spawn. So moving forward, I think teams will be throwing this smoke instead. Elyse will throw a deeper mid smoke on the fly at the start of the round off the left mid wall and then Molly's behind it. The smoke will give him cover as he pushes to watch the second mid cross and then actually pushes to peak second mid and kills electronic. However, simple kills him from behind. From simple's POV, he can't spot the mid push to second mid. However, there is a gap to the left which he will push through once he gets info that a leash is second mid and kills him from behind. Stewie boosts his Nap brackets to peak long where Nap has an off angle and he kills Nafni. From Nafni's POV, he doesn't see it coming. Stewie 2k has a set pit molly where it covers behind the CT smoke and won't get extinguished by it. It's not a safe molly to throw it because you're exposed to pit, so you'll see Stewie jiggle peak before setting up to throw it, which he aims at the shadow, then jump throw. The molly keeps enters inside the smoke. Elyse has a one-way smoke inside Greyyard. He will crouch onto the circle on the stairs, aims at the corner of the shadow, then right-click throw. Then he moves to the left and has a gap to peek short, however no one peeks it, and Elyse will direct his attention the other way and kills the player's wrapping. Here's what the one-way smoke looks like from short and you can't see Elyse at all. Elyse smokes coffins from right side car. He's going to aim at this part of the wall then jump throw. Most commonly this position Elyse is in is used to smoke CT. But here he smokes coffins and you can pair it up with a new box molly from the same position. Device with the variation God Flash and Coffin Smoke from the side of logs. He's going to first throw the flashes. He will aim at this corner, then jump throw. After the flashes, he follows up with the Coffin Smoke aiming here, then jump throw. Mouse are on Eco. They have a 3 player stack top mid with 2 players boosted next to this wall. This off angle stack nets them 2 kills as Fashar pushes up. He's aiming between the two boosted players and stood no chance. Ecstatic on their CT pistol play two back sight and Wolfie is CT and he has set flash for his teammates that land top roof if he gets smoked out CT. He will position with the middle of the window and he will aim middle of the fountain and jump throw. JDC gets boosted on the ledge and he peeks pit with this off angle. He doesn't spot anyone then jumps up the porch. And he makes his way into the second balcony where he has his position that he can see part of sight and pit. He kills a pit player and stays up there killing Wolfie coming through the moto smoke. The pit player was holding this angle and couldn't spot JDC. x Flout throws a deep car flash from sight stand next to the blue jugs. Aims at the wall as shown then jump throw. The flash will blind all three banana players from sinners. This is a flash that I've seen many pro teams using as it does cover anyone holding behind half wall as well. Team Liquid are on Eco and they send 4 players B with 3 of them dropping their smokes behind the wall for Naf who has his own smoke so a total of 4 smokes to work with to try to smoke out the B entrance to hopefully force Navi to go into the 4A stack which does happen this round. Hampus gets run boosted across mid to get into apartments faster and he runs through the T's windows molly. He pushes apartments, he doesn't get spotted crossing and kills Omnic then falls back. Omnic just happens to look towards apartments but wasn't expecting the push at all. B-Stick smokes Haycar from 2nd mid, he crouches behind the wall, aims at this part of the antenna, then jump throw. If you want to see how Sinners uses this smoke, check out the tactic here on my second channel Nades Out Here. Alexa B has a great support entry flash for Valde, he throws it off the graveyard wall. Valde won't get flashed as he entries into sight and the flash blinds Hampus. NIP drop mollies and lockers at the start of round for Fousey to throw in front of Secret that act as a one way for Hampus. Fousey will chain these mollies. He aims at the pole then run forward and left click throw. He waits until the molly is about to end to throw another one. While this was happening Hampus is peeking behind the molly in Secret and will end the round with an ace. It's very hard to spot Hampus behind these mollies. Here is Hampus's POV. The first molly gets thrown when there are signs that outside yard smokes are thrown. 
Hampus won't spot anyone and he flashes before peeking again. Then the first molly's ending and Fuzi re mollies. Hampus peeks and gets a couple of kills and then he's gonna end the round with an ace. Here's the view from T Red. As you can see, it's super hard to spot Hampus behind the molly. Teams are beginning to nade stack mini at the start of the round. Here's NIP doing so by first having someone blow up the door and then followed up with three nades towards mini. That's gonna punish config for pushing mini to peak door. This works well against offers who do the same. Other teams I've seen doing this nade stack are FaZe and G2. Big Clan are in a 2v2 post plant retaking upper. Searson smokes heaven retake from unbreakable. He crouches on this white dot, aims as shown, then stands up and left click throw. He throws this smoke to bait Godset and thinking that there's at least one player retaking from heaven which you'll see it works with Dumao looking towards heaven. However, he's going to hear both players on site and he's going to go on to win this post plant. Flopsy flashes hut at the start of the round for SC Tag to push and peak hut. He stands next to this wall, aims top hut, then left click throw. No one from Godsend is playing close hut. The flash does go further than this, however, go to V makes it look shorter. Halzerk throws a B side smoke that gives cover from ramp as he comes out control. He positions with this left wall here, aims as shown, then move forward and left click throw. Right after you release the smoke, open the door. You could also use this technique with a flash. Wara 2k smokes Glaive from outside CT spawn. He positions with this beam, aims at this part of CT red, then jump throw. Bore up with nades for an upper execute from T roof. Make sure windows are broken first. He will stand and position in the middle of this. Then he is going to smoke Mustang aiming here, then right click jump throw. He follows it up with a top hot Molotov, aiming at this window, then run forward and left click throw. The CTs will put out the hut Molotov, however Marky playing Mustang is inside the smoke and his legs are shown which JL spots and kills him. From Marky's POV, he can't see anything. Zaiwu throws a one-way smoke from control stairs. He will position bottom of the fifth stair while crouch, aims at this pole, then right click throw. After smoking, Zaiwu moves to the right where he will have a one-way smoke to work with. However, he doesn't get the initial shots to follow through and gets killed by Boombitch. You'll see here that Navi didn't know it was a one-way smoke until Zaiwu started shooting. Zaiwu throws an outside yard one-way smoke from behind these stairs. While standing, he aims at this pole, then underhand throw. Afterwards, he crouches where he has a nice one-way smoke and he kills Glaive. Here's Glaive's POV and you can't spot Zaiwu. Here's another angle of the one-way smoke but closer and you can still see that it's very hard to spot Zaiwu. Entropic are on eco and Elian has a save off from the round before. Navi don't blow up the door at the start of the round and Elian has his teammate open up the door as he posts up and he catches bit peeking. Nico Molotov Silo at the start of the round from credit card. He aims as shown then jump throw. Dumao throws a top garage one way smoke from outside CT spawn. He gets along the corner of the wall, aims as shown, then jump throw. Gosset uses this smoke to lay the outside tag from Big Clan. This was a smoke Big used to throw a couple years ago according to Smuya. Shout out to Sponge for tweeting out this smoke. Dizian smokes Xbox on the back wall, stand next to the rail, aims here, then jump throw. Lurtus Pro have a fast long A corner smoke with this spawn point that Buster has here. He's able to smoke corner instantly when the round starts. The first time I've seen this smoke used was 2 years ago from Astralis and recently has been brought back into play. Buster will aim here then jump throw. The smoke will land as the CT is about to reach around the corner. Dafu from Ecstatic also has an instant long A corner smoke however from a different spawn point shown as here. He will aim below this wire then jump throw. Here's another way to throw the long A corner smoke. Cajun B as he's leaving spawn aims in the middle of the doorway where the gap is and run and jump throw when his crosshair gets below the top wire. Sprout with long A control and Amiga has a player inside sight. Boxic throws a sight smoke from CT to give that player cover and space to work with. He aims between these wires above the antenna then left click throw. Nico's lurking mid this round as his teammates take A. He's gonna hold this off angle position behind Xbox. Hampus pushed through doors and does the fast Xbox jump. Not expecting anyone to be in this position gets killed by Nico. Fuzi throws both A cross smokes from the back right corner side pit. The first smoke he throws is the far smoke where he aims at the top of the cross at the sign then run throw. For the close smoke he backs up in the same corner, crouches, aims at the wire, 
crouch, walk one step, and jump throw. Jax behind double on A side throws a one way smoke aiming above this corner then right click throw. Jax has this angle where he can spot ramp however the NIP players think it is a barrel one way smoke and start spamming the barrels. Jax will kill Rez, Plopski and ends the round killing Fuzi. Here's what the smoke looks like from ramp. At first glance you'll most likely think it's a one way smoke for barrels as I haven't seen anyone use it yet for double until Jax did, which I don't blame Rez for spamming barrels. A leash with a mid spawn jumps down suicide and he throws a nade top mid, which he will use the nade smoke explosion as cover from any CT's peaking mid to allow him to cross to the mid cubby. Simple peaks mid with the op and all he sees is smoke. Other players that use this nade are Nico and Kerrigan. Fuzi watching long A from car misses his first shot and he throws a one way smoke aiming at the shadow here then right click throw. He will then get on top of the hood and he kills Nico. You saw the smoke also puts out G2's molly. Most commonly this smoke is thrown near the door acting as a one way smoke for T's crossing from short but in this round we see it being used for long. Omnic ends up in a 1v1 post plant versus Rez on A site. He will flash and shoot as he drops down from short in order to match the sound of him dropping. This play is going to work out as Omnic walks up and kills Rez ramp, catching him looking at short. This play is commonly used on overpass when CTs are retaking B site dropping down from heaven. From Rez's POV the flash won't blind him but he does hear the op shot following the flash. He must have thought that Omnic might be trying to spam him boxes however that wasn't the case as you see here. Nat flashes long A doors, he's crouched behind the car outside long, aims at the middle and top of the second door, then left click throw. The flash blinds Boomage playing an off angle behind the door assisting the kill for Grim. Mouse will go into this round with one safe rifle and Rops, they put it in good use and will get water control trading out Masuta. Then they boost Rops water to peek over the wall into B site where Rops finds a kill into Apex. Following the kill Mouse will split B however won't able to take it but it does come down to a 1v1 which they do lose. The reason why I'm showing you this clip is that if you do have a save rifle or op, get that player into water and boost them as well as let them push up short to look for a pick. This is a favorable duel and angle the T's can take which can open up the entry for you. Apex flashes over monster, he's standing on the back wall of the right ledge, aims at the shadow, then jump throw. The flash is intended to blind anyone holding from jail which blinds Dexter and shock swings off of it and kills him from monster. Apex flashes water for his teammates to push short pipe. He gets on top of the wood pallet, aims as shown, then left click throw. The flash blinds Bimas, assisting the kill for shocks. Alex smokes mid sight, aligning himself with these white marks on the wall, aims at this corner, then left click throw. Afterwards, he mollies short by standing next to the right side of the short pipe cover, aims as shown, then right and left click throw. Don't worry too much about the lineup as it is a forgiving molly, doesn't have to be exact. Fnatic execute B using these nades where they isolate short and all come out monster however Brolin does miss the heaven smoke. Diha Molotov stares as he is running up behind flowers aiming at the left of the windows then left click throw while running forward. Nafani throws a flower lurk smoke top connector, aims at this leaf then left click throw. The smoke blocks off vision from anyone map or dice jump spotting and allows them to lurk up to flowers where they boost behind the smoke to look at map. They don't spot anyone initially then Kerrigan peeks and gets killed. Axel standing to the right of this map in this wall is going to throw a flash with a left click throw. The flash bounces off the wall and into the bushes buying anyone running up banana. In this round it flashes Mezzi and Axel peeks off the flash and kills him. Mezzi doesn't see the flash coming and gets full white and then dies. In a later round Axel uses the same flash. He jiggle peeks and spots fanatic players coming up banana then throws a flash and it blinds Alex and then he peeks and kills him. At the start of the round, Axel gets a quick little run boost. He will use it to push through to water where he runs through Fnatic's molly and kills Crims coming around the corner. Crims was surprised at how fast Axel got there but knew it had to be a run boost. Dignitas on CT pistol have a B setup where they have a player barrel, a player pillar while Lecro is graffiti with flashes. When contact is made from the barrel player, Lecro throws two flashes to the left of pillar where he aims as shown then W left click throw. The flash blinds the flames players entering out monster. Don't worry too much about the positioning as it is a forgiving flash, you're just trying to get the flashes to the left of the pillar. Following the kill into Waro, Hooksy mollies long from behind followers. He aims between the antennas then left click throw. His molly does cover the corner position even though it doesn't appear so. The reason why he's mauling it is because Copenhagen don't have anyone long to clear it so it takes away from a potential crossfire as the flames enter the site 
and as you can see on the minimap, it was a good molly because Mad Lions had two more players long. Here's a nade stack you and your A teammate can do early into the round to do some nice damage onto the T's crossing to playground. The flames molly stairs early on and then throw two nades near the playground entrance doing massive damage onto Mad Lions. Let's see the lineups. Roy will molly stairs and then he goes into this corner, aims to the left and bottom of the second stairs, runs one step forward and jump throw. Nico Doss, his teammate, throws a similar nade in a different lineup. So as you can see, it doesn't have to be exact. The playground nades are pretty forgiving. Zeko flashes short pipe, staying in the corner of the wall, aims at this part of the shadow sticking out and then jump throw. He throws it when his teammates are ready to come out door. Go TV makes it look like the flash goes past short pipe but here's what it looks like. That's Flash's short pipe from heaven with this unique moving left click throw. No one peeks off of it and Godson don't have anyone in short pipe. Here's how you throw the flash. Stand near this wall and you see this rod sticking out, aim above the left one and without moving your mouse, hold W and right before you hit the wall left click throw. Oscar throws a mid stairs one way smoke, he aims as shown, then W and left click throw. The position doesn't really matter as it is a forgiving smoke. The smoke leaves a gap to the left where Oscar peeks towards fountain. From stairs, you will see that mid is smoked off and you relay that to your team, but you might get caught off guard when pushing up and getting careless. Hobbit smokes monster from pit ramp, he aims at the bottom right of this wood board wall, then jump throw. Careful using this smoke as you are exposed to short. Falcon Esports do an insane 5 man boost outside monster. They triple boost first which the wall holds them up and then the last player with the AWP gets boosted off the barrel. Here's the view from the top. Rex can see heaven, jump spot, jail, and left foot pillar. He has his teammate molly barrels which flushes that player out and Rex spots and kills him. Here's what the view of the boost looks like from pit ramp. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen this boost before. Diaz has this insane pre-fire lineup for the CT cave entrance where offers commonly hold. He will crouch next to this wall, aims as shown, then without moving his mouse, as he is about to peek the doorway he will pre-fire with the set lineup, one tapping Estor. You see from Estor's POV he had no chance to hit that shot, not even offers like Simple and Zaiwu can react to this pre-fire. One way CTs take mid control is by mauling deep and close elbow, Elian with the mid spawn preemptively smokes close elbow in anticipation of the deep molly which allows him to spot mid because the smoke puts out the molly and gives him freedom to still hold mid, however in this round there is no deep molly. Gambit are an eco with the save up on Shiro taking it to A main at the start of the round where he gets boosted by Axile to peak yard where he gets more vision compared to a standard peak. We're not going to see the boost get any action here as Fnatic had grouped up towards B. Yakinda throws the a wrap smoke inside house that smokes off speedway while being in the middle of the doorway, crouches, aims as shown, then left click throw. Mouse are executing B and Acor jumps and serves on the stairs to get to this position where he can spot over the long smoke and kills Glaive. You see from Glaive's POV that Acor was hard to spot as well as he wasn't expecting anyone to be in this angle as this was also my first time seeing this position using a pro match to spot long. NIP used this boost A main the first spot if anyone is actively peeking from the boxes which device doesn't see anyone. This allows Rez to come out where he jump spots Temple and sees Barton and he relays this info to his team. Then NIP will use this next boost to peek Temple and device kills him. From Barton's POV he is double zoomed on A main and he won't be able to spot the jump spot from Rez or the second boost and gets killed. And Tropic are splitting the B site and Krat inside cave wall bangs Ninja which he hears his bullets connecting onto someone. As a response his teammate Nickelback will spam the other wall killing Norway. Bird from Sky smokes Donut near the CT's main entrance. He aims at the lock on the box then runs two steps forward and jump throw. You do expose yourself when throwing this smoke because of the jump. We've seen Pain Gaming pull off this triple boost to kill the long player behind stairs. Here Extra Salt and OC use the same boost, however OC will get the kill into Exertion who was near the pillar. The reason Exertion pre-aimed the boost was because Mouse have a player inside Cheetah who heard the boost. JT Molly's Banana Cubby staying behind this wall, aims to the right of this brick then jump throw. The Molly will flush out Fashar who OC is posted on, however Fashar gets a better exchange. Extra Salt are on Eco and they stack 4B with JT CT spawn with one flash. 
Miles will run into the B stack where JT flashes over the wall to B that absolutely wrecks them as they entry into sight, leading to an eco win for extra salt. Fang's gonna hold this cheeky angle inside house to spot window where he kills TMB. This position can also catch T's jumping up Xbox 2 window. Rawls behind Long Cobby wanted to flash K for his teammate to peek, however cancels, and then instead mauls it off by aiming here then left click throw. If you did want to flash, you would aim in the same spot as a molly but would take half a step then left click throw. Bit under window molly's murder hole to delay rotations as Navi split B. He's on the back wall, aims as shown, then walks one step forward and right and left click throw. Blame F used to throw the same molly quite often with complexity splitting B and even using it to fake the B split and go A. Blame F smokes window from underpass, he stands behind this wall, aims at the tip, then left click throw. The smoke lands perfectly and doesn't leave any gaps. Alexa B throws a window molly from the same position and lineup as Blame F. After flashing A sight, Searson flashes off the wall and window and it pops mid window, blinding the face players. Searson peeks after a flash and gets 2 kills. Zywu smokes door from apps, he is on the back of the doorway, aims here, then left click throw. The smoke will land outside the doorway, but it does cover door. If he runs one step forward and left click throw, the smoke lands inside the doorway. Alexei B smokes short from T spawn, standing next to the trash can. He aims at this leaf, then jump throw. For the full strap breakdown, join my discord. This video is number 258. As Elise is making his way to get boosted into ladder, he strafe nades mid doing about 40 HP damage to Glaive. Here's a sky cam view of the nade being thrown and where it lands to get the full perspective. Nico throws an alternate flash compared to the lamp flash. He stands on the edge of this ledge, aims as shown, then jump throw. The flash half flashes Kyoshin, however, if he was holding to the side, he would have gotten full white. Kenny Yes smokes front B site towards short, standing next to the block on catwalk, aims in this gap, then jump throw. G2 uses this smoke to give their short players cover from sight and bench as they push up. As attack smokes ramp from Ninja, while standing, he aims to the left of this building, then left click throw. Elish smokes cross from inside ramp, he crouches on this back wall, aims as shown, then left click throw. This smoke is forgiving with this lineup. I don't know if this is common knowledge or not, but there are windows inside palace that you could throw away guns that can't be retrieved, which Naf does here after killing device, recovering his off, and throwing it out the map through the windows. If you're ever at van and want a smoke market window, here's a lineup from Jame. He aims at this leaf, then left click throw. Safe, simple, and effective smoke. If you want a smoke door from van, Yabby has this lineup where he aims at this part of the wall, then left click throw. Easy. Inters throws a window smoke that can't be mollied leaving a gap, he positions with this thing on the door, crouches, aims at the rail and walks and jump throw when he hits the chair. The only problem with this smoke is that it takes a while to set up and throw, which you'll see in this round Zaiwu who's playing window, gets there way before the smoke is thrown, and sees the smoke thrown over the wall and body blocks the smoke from landing correctly, allowing him now a one way smoke, which he takes advantage of and kills two of the gamut players trying to come out mid. If you want a molly default from inside connector, Zaiwu does so, stand next to the middle wall inside connector, aims above the dark marks, walks one step forward and left click throw. Mad Lions execute A and Copenhagen Flames boost on top of the stairs to see over the smoke. Hooksy is able to see parts of triple and spots bore up triple, however, Zyphon the player below him gets the kill. Simple throws a fast top connector smoke crouch top of the trash can, he aims at this wood, then crouch walk until you reach a little below the wire and jump throw. Liquid will pop B and look how clean the first 3 players get out the window. This type of movement makes it hard for the CTs to target you, as well as helping you advance into sight very quickly. You'd love to see it. This is the end of the video, please make sure to subscribe, like the video and comment. I greatly appreciate your support. Till next time, Nardout here, peace.